Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video number 15 in a series I'm doing on creating a simple access database app, CRUD style app. Uh, CRUD is an acronym that uh, stands for Create, Read, Update, and Destroy. So far we have covered the first three letters of that acronym. Now we need to focus on the D or destroy uh, or alternatively you might say delete. So in the last video, uh, if you're if you're just jumping in, uh, feel free to go back in the previous videos and uh, find out what we're doing. I, I try to typically do a quick review in each video, but I'm just going to get to the point on this one. Uh, there is an introduction video that you can look at that shows you kind of from uh, top to bottom what we're creating. And so I'm going to get right to it. In the last video, we created, uh, or actually we uh, coded the detail button on our all customers form here to where if we click that it goes into that record and pre-populates everything for us so we can make changes or we can update the record. Uh, what I want to do in this video is create a delete button that's going to allow us to delete the record. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so a couple of things I need to do. First of all, I'm going to go to views up here uh, on the home tab, go to design view. And uh, I'm going to click on this save button. I'm actually going to move this over out of the way a little bit because I'm going to put the delete button down here on the same row. And actually, let me change something. Let me go to um, all here and let me find my caption. Where is this? Let's see. Okay, caption. So I want to put, uh, I'm actually going to change this from save to save, save changes. All right, press enter, get out of that. And I don't know, hold on. Houston, we have a problem. What happened? So why, oh, I know, I bet I know why. Yeah, so I need to make more room for that changes to show up. Okay, so I've changed that save button to save changes. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to the design tab. I'm going to go to the design tab. I can't talk this morning. so. In the uh, controls group, remember, if you've been following along, this should be review. I'm just going to click on button there. And then I'm going to kind of just draw that out a little bit. But what I'll do is um, let me go ahead. Let's go through the command button wizard. So uh, this needs to be a uh, record operation. So in the categories row here, click on uh, record operations and then in actions, Go to delete record. Then I'm going to click on next and I'm going to, again, this is personal preference. If you've been following the tutorials, you've seen this before. You can do whatever you want. There's a couple options here. You can have a delete record icon button. You can have a trash can button. I'm going to go with the text. I'm just a text kind of person. So do whatever you want. It's personal preference. It'll, it'll function just the same. Uh, I'll click next. And in this, I'm going to delete, I'm going to, I'm going to change the name of this to delete record BTN and then click finish. All right. So there's the button. Uh, what I want to do is actually size this up to match save changes. So we've done this before too. So I'm going to go to format, the format tab, and I'm going to look for height and width. And I want to match that on my delete record button. So they look the same, you know, actually, to be honest with you, I like the size of this delete record button. So I'm going to actually do it the other way around. So let me go down here to uh, format on or to the format tab on my delete record button. Let me go find uh, the height. It's uh, whatever that is. I'm just going to highlight it. Control C, go back to save changes and on the format tab, I'm going to go down to height and I'm going to control V and then press enter. And then now I'm going to go back to delete record and go to width, which is going to be down at the bottom because I've sorted these. I'll highlight that and then uh, control C and go to save changes. And again, down in width, I'm going to highlight that control V enter. All right, cool. So notice how they're the exact same size. And so they kind of match better. And then I can, um, kind of arrange these again this is all personal preference but I'm just trying to arrange everything sort of centered and in relation I'm actually 
Remember, um, if you've forgotten, when you have a rectangle element like we do, you have to click outside into the grid area and click on the other element within that that you want to manipulate. Otherwise, it selects the rectangle. And as you saw, I was trying to move this, and it was actually moving the greater rectangle, and I had to do a little Control-Z action to undo that. So, all right, so basically we've got our Delete Record button now. And what I need to do is with that selected, I'm going to go to event. Actually, we've already got our event, don't we? Sorry, losing my place here. Uh, let's let's press a, the button that has the triple buttons and you can see what it's done here. Um, it's already pre-populated all this because we did this in the wizard. And so if you wanted to ever take a look at that, you can do that that way. So I'm gonna click on save, close, and save again. And then let's go back to this view Actually, let me close this. All right, so remember we had these transient records, 5003 and 5005. Let's just use those and uh, test our delete button. I'll go into detail, I'll delete record. And then this is an access thing. So this is just like if we were to delete the record in our raw table, it's gonna bring up this uh, message and this alert say, hey, you're about to delete one record. And if that's okay, click yes. Uh, you won't be able to undo it, it'll be gone forever. Uh, if you didn't mean to do that, click on no. So we're going to go ahead and click next, or click uh, yes, I'm sorry. And again, we're kind of back at the same place we were in the previous video where we save changes and it brings up this basically uh, a new customer form. So we could actually go in here and add a new customer. Don't want that, so we need to go back. Let's go back real quick to um, design view and on delete record, we need to add an action to this. So let's click on that uh, triple dot and down here let's scroll down to the bottom and let's add a new action this is going to be again it's close window and be careful when you do this i used to not be aware of this when i first started building these don't do that closed database because when you click on a button with the closed database uh, action attached to it it'll just completely close your application so make sure you follow through and make sure that's con uh, that's closed window and not closed database so i'm going to press tab and then uh, object type again is form and then the object name again is going to be customer detail that's our form and that's all we need so let's uh click enter let's uh click save close and uh, go back to yes save changes sorry i didn't save the changes okay so this is another issue that we're going to address probably in the next video is it shows deleted <clears throat> because what it's basically doing is this form is just showing us what's currently in the database but without us refreshing the database which we can do here and i'm going to click that you'll see it, that goes away we can actually put some VBA in here that will automatically do that so you don't have to worry about refreshing all because let's just think in in terms of maybe you have a user that can enter data and they can you know use a a, a software application but they're not really a microsoft access savvy type person so they may not know you know, they may look at that deleted and go, oh my gosh, what have I done? And, you know, they don't know how to do, you know, refresh all and you don't want to have to teach them all that. We can actually, we can address that on our end as we're creating this tool so that we don't have to worry about that. So I'll address that in the next video. But right now, so far, everything's going well. We can actually go in here to detail on this record again, delete record. Of course, I'm going to click yes. Okay, so everything works. It goes back to our all customers form and it closes that uh, detail form so somebody can't enter in a new order that way. They have to go to the new customer. I'm sorry, I said order. I meant customer. They can't enter a new customer that way. They have to go back to the new customer form or they have to go to the main form, which they do that by closing that form. So again, we go to view all and notice that that deleted record goes away because it automatically refreshes when we get out of the form and go back into the form. But because that form was still open, the all customers, look, we go to detail, notice all customers is still open. So it doesn't refresh until it closes and reopens. We can do this one of two ways actually. So we could actually set this up to where our customer detail form opens and the all customers form closes and then we could attach uh, an action to this close form when it closes to go back to the all customers form or we could just have it go back to the main form. I don't know how I wanna do that. So actually I'm gonna make a decision on that before the next video and then uh, 
you'll see what I decided. Uh, so I'll see you there. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.